Hello, water signs. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a love reading for you. No particular time frame on this one, guys. Whenever it is you're guided to tune in is when you're meant to hear these messages. Hopefully it will resonate, but if it doesn't, hopefully I'll be able to tap into your energies the next time around. If you're interested in obtaining a personal private reading from me, all that info is down below this video. So let's get started for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. My water signs, what's going on in romance? Angels and spirit guides, please bring forward your messages for my water signs. Sorry guys, my camera shut down for some reason. Okay, so angels and spirit guides, please bring forward your messages for my water signs. What do they need to know at this time? in regard to their love life. So focusing on the energies of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, guys, so let's find out what's happening here. Let me just make sure my camera is on. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. Angels, please. Oh, here we go. Starting already. Well, we've got a wedding card coming forward here. Um, I'm trying to think out of all the signs, this card came through as well. So if you, you are a cross watcher um, for this particular reading that I've done, perhaps watch those other videos. And if it resonates with you, perhaps you'll be um, resonating with that as well. So we also have the retreat card here. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I've shuffled these cards like crazy before I even recorded, guys. And I believe these two cards came out for that reading as well. So I forget if it was my earth signs or air signs. But if you're a cross watcher, check that out as well. If you are um, in connection with those signs. All right. Angels, please continue to bring forward messages for my water signs. Let your friends help you. This is also indicative of energies of planning a wedding or a wedding day. As you can see, it's a bride that's getting ready to um, get married and she's surrounded by possibly her wedding party, her um, maid of honor, flower girl, whatever the case may be. Um, so this is definitely picking up some, some bleh, I can't speak, off of some of you guys who are either planning a wedding at this time and or you just recently got married and or um, engaged, but I'm really, really strongly picking up here, guys. This is for those of you who are in the midst of planning a wedding, and it's it's fast approaching, is what I'm feeling here. And look at the bottom card here, guys, chemistry. So whoever it is that you are engaged to or about to marry, guys, whoever is tuning in here for my water signs, you chose a wonderful partner, okay? That's what I'm picking up here but let's pull some tarot messages to add to this all right so for cancer scorpio pisces what's going on okay well we've got judgment we also have temperance and we've got the world coming forward here wow guys that's three major arcanas coming through here so with the judgment card and this is picking up off of the energies off of this wedding card here guys so with the judgment card here this is picking up off of the energies of reflection some sort of awakening and regarding regarding this particular relationship i'm feeling that this person brings you much happiness okay um especially with the temperance card being represented here as well um definitely needing you to have some sort of patience in regard to this upcoming wedding that i'm feeling for some of you guys perhaps you're super excited that the date is fast approaching perhaps that's what it's picking up off of i'm not really feeling anything negative here guys as far as the cards that i've laid out so far i i'm really picking up some heavy energies here that this is especially for those of you guys who are planning a wedding, okay? And 
the world card is here. So this person completes you, okay? They are definitely someone that I'm feeling, whoever this is coming through for, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this is someone that literally completes you as a person, okay? This marriage is going to bring about success. Um, it's definitely representative of wholeness. You guys complete each other. It is a celebration of life, a celebration of two people coming together to love each other. This is representative of triumph. Someone that is your peace. They bring peace into your world. They get rid of the chaos from life's everyday struggles and challenges. And they absolutely bring you peace. They bring peace to your heart is the message I'm receiving here. And all the pieces of your romantic life fell into place when you met this person. You guys have the world at your feet as a couple. Great happiness is being represented. Re, bleh, I can't speak. Is being represented here. Okay. And the positive event being represented here is your marriage, your wedding, your upcoming nuptials. I'm feeling this is such a super specific message that's coming through, but I've got to communicate this for those of you that are tuning in that are resonating with this because it, it's got marriage and a wedding written all over it. Okay. So what's up with the retreat card? It's time to disconnect from the world. To me, that kind of is representative of um, what happens after a wedding and a married couple wanting to disconnect, to be alone with each other and to just enjoy each other as husband and wife, um, you know, and just enjoy the connection. Again, two people that have wonderful chemistry here surrounded by a really good support system with your friends as well, okay? So let's add to this retreat card. Time to disconnect from the world. These two people with great chemistry planning a wedding. Okay, we've got some pentacles here. So eight of pentacles. We also have the 10 of pentacles. So it's, let's, with the, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I keep having trouble speaking, so I can't help but pick up off of someone's energy that they're nervous, that they're afraid to almost say their vows. That's the energy that's coming forward here. So whoever is resonating with that particular message, I feel that you're a nervous bride and or a nervous groom and that you're fumbling over your vows is what I'm feeling here. So take that with a grain of salt, take that for whatever it is, but that's the message that I am picking up here. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is someone that's got a lot of passion in their life, um, very high standards, someone who's very diligent and a hard worker. And I do feel that this is either picking up off of the person that you are in connection with, guys, um, for my Cancer Scorpios or Pisces, I feel that this is either your spouse or spouse-to-be or the person that you are thinking of at the time of this reading, okay? So I realized that this storyline is so specific for those of you planning a wedding and or just recently got married. So this could also, of course, be picking up off of someone that you're in connection with where you feel that um, they, they are someone that you want to marry someday and or you guys are already living together and you already feel like you are um, living as um, a married couple, even though there wasn't an actual wedding that took place. Okay, that's a possibility here. So hard worker is what I'm getting here. So that could be representative of either you, water sign, or the person that you are in connection with. You also have the 10 of pentacles being represented in this reading. So it's the culmination of something wonderful, like an inheritance, some sort of legacy. And I do feel that as a result of this union, you will both be leaving some sort of legacy by way of this relationship. And it is culminating in this wonderful union as husband and wife. Okay, you guys are truly coming forward with the energies that finally, I found the person that I've been waiting for all my life. And you knew it the moment you met them. 
there was just this dynamic magnetic attraction between the two of you guys okay so what's up with the let your friends help you card all right we've got the king of wands coming forward here and we do have the page of cups so this could be representative of um people in your life that's emanating these energies the uh the king of wands is someone who is a leader he overcomes challenges so he may be representative of the groom in this scenario or perhaps who, whoever it is that would play the role of the divine masculine in this connection he definitely takes the leadership role in this scenario in this relationship he's a strong individual and i do feel that as a spouse as a husband um he's a good provider he's a good man someone that i see you being with for the rest of your life wonderful chemistry that he is bringing forward here with his divine feminine i'm feeling page of cups is also coming forward here so um this particular page offers a happy surprise he's a very sensitive individual he's also a dreamer okay so this could also be representative of either the groom in this scenario um this could also be representative of same-sex marriages okay so we do have the king of wands and a page of cups here so for those of you that are picking up off of that storyline that could absolutely be the case and it's someone that you have such intense chemistry with here guys and look at the bottom card we've got ace of cups you guys fulfill each other's cups you fulfill each other's hearts you make each other happy intuitively you know that you guys are spiritually connected whether they're just across the room from you or across the country it doesn't matter intuitively you know that this is your person guys wow yeah very nice so let's pull some whispers of love cards here guys to add to this so i realize this time around this again is such a specific set of cards that came through relating to a relationship having to do with marriage having to do with a wedding planning a wedding culminating in a celebration someone one someone in this relationship is a good provider a hard worker someone that is going to offer a happy surprise to their spouse you absolutely fulfill each other in ways that you never thought you would ever be fulfilled in love let's pull some whispers of love messages to add to your reading guys this is so beautiful and i i really hope that however small um this storyline is i i get it's very specific but again it's a wedding i hear wedding bells guys for some of you so take it for however it resonates if you're not planning a wedding perhaps it's someone that you feel you want to marry someday and or you guys just have that type of connection where you feel that they complete you and you guys are practically like a married couple you know you just didn't go through the actual um wedding part of it but that doesn't mean that you don't love each other and it doesn't mean that you're not going to get married someday but you guys already feel as if you have that type of connection so that may very well be represented here as well and it's someone that you have a really wonderful magnetic connection to all right so angels please bring forward for this message from the whispers of love okay yeah well look at that ask for help so we've got two cards here being represented really with the same type of message needing help asking for help okay so what is it you really need help with be willing to allow yourself the support you need so for those of you that are not resonating with the storyline of a marriage or planning a wedding or getting married then this is simply coming forward for those of you that 
um, perhaps you feel that you don't have a support system, this is coming through to remind you that you absolutely do. So turn to those that have your back, turn to your friends, your family, that could be a shoulder to lean on. They are there for you. So um, this is coming through to remind you that you're not alone. You don't have to deal with your challenges, especially in regard to your romantic life alone. You know, there are people for you to talk to. So simply ask for assistance when you need it. Okay, and then we've got, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So this is coming through for some of you guys, perhaps um, you find that you have caused some tension in your connection with whoever it is that you are thinking of at the time of this reading. And perhaps that is where the help message is coming from. Okay, um, if you're going through some challenges and you find yourself repeating patterns in your relationships and finding that they end up not working out over and over again, so try to analyze the way you interact with people in a romantic uh, type relationship and see what you can change from your end and um, that will help you to be a better partner moving forward in other relationships. So I'm feeling really that this is kind of a separate message that's coming through for some of you guys that's separate from this storyline with the wedding and the marriage and planning a wedding. And those of you that have just recently been proposed to or are engaged already, I'm not feeling that this has any ties to whatever cards came through here. I'm feeling this is a separate message that needed to be communicated for those of you that really needed to see this at this time. But ultimately, guys, the majority of this reading is in relation to a wedding. That's what it boils down to. Those of you, again, planning a wedding is what I'm feeling here, and or you recently just got married. And if that is the case, guys, you chose wisely. This is someone that is your soulmate, someone that you will be happy with for the rest of your life. I really do feel that, and they fulfill you in ways that you never thought anyone could. All right, you've got their cup of love. I really do feel that energy here. So you've got the world at your feet, guys, especially as a power couple, I'm feeling. So take advantage of this energy. For those of you who have recently just gotten married, congratulations, guys. For those of you about to get married and planning a wedding and are um, recently engaged, I wish you guys the very best of luck and congratulations. Um, so that's it. That's what I've got for you guys this time around. I hope that whoever this came through for, that you enjoyed this reading and that it offered you um, some much needed advice and clarity in regard to this uh, situation. All right, guys. So thank you for tuning in. Um, again, if you're interested in a personal private reading from me, all that info is down below this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.